Welcome in everybody. Uh, I'm David Columbia with the Frankfurt Plant Board, joined by John, a 15-year veteran of the Frankfurt Plant Board. And we are going to do a couple videos to show you how you can do some self-installations um, at your house for FPB cable telecom products. Uh, sometimes, especially in the, the world today, it's safer for us to, to give you your equipment and you do a self-installation in the house. So we're going to do several little videos to show you how to do those things. Uh, today, our very first one, we're going to start with how to set up a qualm tuner. If you get cable TV service turned on at your house and you have a new TV or a TV that's never been hooked up to cable, just like this one hasn't been, um, you can hook cable straight up to it and John's going to take us through that and tell us the whole process of getting a qualm tuner set up in your house. Hi, I'm John. Uh, what we're going to start with, you have your TV, we're going to find the cable. It's either going to come out of the floor or it's going to come out of the wall. It may have a connector on it at the wall, but we need to make sure we get it hooked to the back of the TV. So this is an LG TV and uh, pretty much all TVs have them like right on the side or right on the back, right? For, yes. for a qualm tuner hookup. Yes. And you'll notice it's it's threaded. You'll you'll know it looks like the one sticking out of the wall. Uh, most people have dealt with a TV. If you hadn't, look on the back of it, and the threaded portion is what you need to screw the cable onto. At that point, you'll turn the TV on. This one's already on. We're going to go to the menu. All right. So we're in the menu now. We're looking for something that says. We're going to channels. Okay. <clears throat> Once you find the channels, uh, and that may be a couple of steps in on the menu. But we're going to click on channels, channel tuning. We're going to do auto tuning so we can save the channels. We've made sure it's hooked up. We're going to push start. Now we're going to put the remote down. We're going to let the TV do its, do its job. It's going to go out onto our system and search and find the channels that we have coming across the cable network. I know a lot of people ask, it says like it's doing uh, antenna DTV and antenna TV and cable DTV. Uh, what are the difference between those things? What's it looking for? Uh, the cable DTV is the digital side. You'll have antenna digital, which is the, the on-air, the off-air channels you'd pick up with uh, an, an antenna. The other antenna TV would be channels other than the digital ones that you could pick up off-air. Then you've got the cable DTV, which is what we put out on our system. The last one, regular cable TV, would be for an analog system if someone still had that. You'll notice it's finding quite a few channels here on the cable DTV. But even if it stops finding any channels, please let it continue till it finishes. What we're searching for is all available channels. We do have some channels out there that have a carrier wave on them, but they do not have a, you won't be able to get a picture or anything out of it. Some TVs will recognize that and then it will go in when it's done with the first part of the scan, it will delete those out so you don't have to deal with them. What happens is you, you're going to be in a hurry, you're going to get this hooked up. Some TVs may take up to 45 minutes before, before they're done with their scan. Uh, it's a long process at times and can be frustrating just to let it do its job. That's why a lot of times it takes time for us when, you're, when we're in your home doing it, it seems like it goes faster because we're taking care of it and you're not having to sit and look at it. But trust me, it, it will finish its job. Mm -hmm. And this was a brand new TV right out of the box. I think we got it last week. So it's never had a cable yes. hooked up to it. So it's right. And it's searching for everything it can find. Take time, make popcorn. Be ready to watch TV here shortly. Now that it's finished, it's done its job. We need to go down and select done or complete. Uh, it will give you an indicator. It, it may say various things depending on which TV model you have. 
we're back on an HDMI input, we need to go to a, to a channel. You'll notice that uh, this remote has a lot of different features on it. You deal with TVs every day, you kind of have to learn 10 or 15 different remotes. We've gone in and selected the TV tuner, and now we see that we have channel 2-1. At this point, you can tune channels up and down with your remote or enter the number that you want to go to. You'll see on the screen that it shows, it'll show a 4-1, it may be a 10-1, 12-1, the dash one is the, the digital, just the regular digital, common digital channel. If you go up one, you'll see that it's got a dash two. That dash two indicates that this is the high definition version of that channel, will actually give you the best picture. So you may tune to it whenever you're watching a show. And at this point, whenever you're done watching, just turn the TV off and go to the next thing. All right, so that was how to get a qualm tuner hooked up to your you know, brand new TV or a TV you've never had hooked up to FPB cable before, how to find your channels and uh, how to get your TV going. Uh, so we found our cable, found it from either the floor or from the wall. Correct. Uh, put the cable into the back uh, coax connection to the TV and did a channel scan. So yes. A lot of different TVs call that different things, you know, the channel right. scan. Channel uh, scan, channel search. Kind of like auto-tune, something like some, some yes. kind of different different things in different TV manufacturers. So so look out for that, but they uh, they kind of all do the same thing. Yes, they, they all do the same thing. And, and keep in mind, the menus on TVs are a little different. You may end up having to go to an extra step or two in a menu. Um, don't get frustrated with it. Just take your time and it should walk you through most things. And if you have any questions, as always, you can look at our website, fpb.cc, or call our customer service line at 352-4372. Thanks for watching. Thank you.